Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bongo.com and today we're going to talk about Soho projects. I'm going to show you how to create and edit a project layout and also how to create a project template. Let's start. All right, let's go to the setup here in the top right corner and then go to customization and then we're going to click where it says projects. In this tab, we're going to be able to edit the project layout. So if you just want to edit the project layout that you already have, you can just click on it, in this case, standard layout. And then here you can add fields or remove fields if you want and also add sections. So let's add a field. We're gonna do a phone number. So we're gonna use this field and we're gonna drop it right here. And now we're gonna name it. And we're gonna add it to the layout. And that's it, that's how you add fields. Something to keep in mind is that you cannot add fields to this part where it says project information right here. The only field that you can edit is the status field and you can customize it and add different statuses based on your project workflow. All right, once you finished editing the layout, you can just click on save layout and apply changes. Now to create a new layout, just click here where it says create layout and then we're gonna name it. In this case, it's gonna be consultation layout. And we're gonna clone it from the standard layout because we don't have another one. But if you have multiple layouts, you can use a different one. All right, click on create. And as you can see, we have the same fields that we had before, including the custom fields. But this layout is different than the other one, so we're gonna customize it a little bit. We're gonna remove the phone number. And we're gonna add the fields email. And also we're gonna do a single line field. It's gonna be called software. And now we're gonna click on save layout. All right, and that's how you create a new layout. Now let's move on to the second part where I'm gonna show you how to create a project template. To create a project template, first you have to have a project that you're gonna use as reference. In this case, I already created a project called consultation right here. And inside I have two tasks lists with some tasks in them. And as you can see, there are some tasks that have an owner in this case me, but some of them are unassigned. Something to keep in mind is that when you create a template from this project, everything is gonna be copied as is. So in this case, this task is gonna be unassigned, but the other ones are gonna be assigned to the person that you select here. Also the priority is gonna be copied and also any notes or images that you have inside each task. Also, if you have documents attached to this project, they're gonna be copied as well. In this case, this is exactly how I want the template to look like. That's why I'm gonna use this project. Okay, let's go back to projects. And now go here where it says all projects and click on project templates. I already have two templates here, but we're gonna create a new one. So let's click here where it says new project template and we're gonna name it. And then here where it says standard layout, we're gonna select the one that we just created. So this template is gonna be linked to that layout. And every time we use the template, the layout is gonna be the one that we just created. Here it says, choose from projects. We're gonna select the one that I just mentioned, consultation. And then we're not going to make any other changes in the rest of this form. Any changes you make here are gonna be saved in the template. And then when you use the template, those changes are gonna be there. For example, if you add a contact name right here, then each time you use the template, the contact name that you just added is gonna be on each project, but we don't want that. There are more options if you keep scrolling down, but we're not going to change anything. All right, click on add project template. And sometimes it takes a minute or two to load all the tasks. So we're gonna refresh the page. And now we have our project template with all the tasks that were copied from the other project. To identify a project template here in the recent projects, you can see that the project template has this icon right here and a normal project doesn't have any icons. Okay, let's go back to projects and now we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna name it. And then here where it says template, we're gonna select the one that we just created. Now, if you want, you can modify any fields because you're creating a project. So we're gonna add a contact name and a date here and work type, and that's it. We're gonna click on add. And again, the tasks are gonna load in a few seconds. So we're gonna refresh the page. And now we have our project that we just created using our project template. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.